Hallo und ein herzliches Willkommen, ich bin euer MuscleTech und heute sind wir in der nächsten Episode. Wir erinnern uns, wir haben die erste Episode von The Walking Dead abgeschlossen. Ja, insgesamt gibt es bisher fünf Episoden, also fünf Teile, die wir durchspielen, also fünf Kapitel. Und heute beginnen wir mit Episode 2, Hunger und Hilfe. Fangen wir doch mal an und schauen, was uns hier erwartet in diesem absolut grandiosen Game. Mir hat ja die erste Episode wirklich wunderbar Spaß gemacht und der Endtrailer, den wir im letzten Part der ersten Episode gesehen haben, der hat einfach nur noch Lust auf mehr gemacht. All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> give a shit about what happens to you but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you you watch your ass ja diese zweite episode richtet sich ganz danach wie wir die erste durchgespielt haben das ist ja alles aufeinander basierend Wir mussten uns ja schon zweimal entscheiden, wen wir am besten leben lassen und wen nicht. Beziehungsweise einfach unsere Entscheidungen treffen, wie es dann weitergeht. Drei Monate später. So, ah, hier geht's schon richtig los. Wir haben also noch drei weitere Monate überlebt hier. Damn. What they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Wahrscheinlich You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Und er hat eine Familie, die er auch hat. Und er hat eine Familie, die er auch hat. Und er hat eine Familie, die er auch hat. Und er hat eine Familie, die er auch hat. Und er hat eine Familie, die er auch hat. Und er hat eine Familie, die er auch hat. Und er hat eine Familie, die er auch hat. Und er hat eine Familie, die er auch hat. Und er hat eine I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat.
Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Na, da hat doch jemand geschrieben gerade. Hoffentlich bei uns im Lager. Ach du Scheiße. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, god damn it, get, get it off me. Travis, no, um, maybe they can help. That's in the bear and father. Same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We have a super nice. get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, oh. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Ach, du Scheiße, jetzt kommen sie. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. You have to get him out. Please, to get me out. Do Please hurry. Noch mal. There's gotta be something we can do. Das gibt's doch nicht. Try to get hurry. Jay. Got it. Die. Forget it. We use Jay like that at the Air Force Base to lift ordnance. You're not gonna. There has to be a way out of this. Come on. Try some. How the fuck do you get these things open? We don't know. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. It's impossible. It locks or something. Hurry. Scheiße, da, da müssen wir auch noch hier. Dann ja, probieren wir das so. Anders scheint das wohl nicht zu gehen. Vielleicht kann man es irgendwie knacken. Nein, das scheiße, das geht nicht. Nochmal probieren aufzudrücken. Das geht auch nicht. Okay. Es geht nicht anders. Es tut mir leid, mein Freund. Besser, besser ohne Bein leben. So. Oh, scheiße, Mann. Ja, wir müssen den armen Typen das Bein abpacken. Und nochmal. Aber anders geht es leider nicht. Oh, jetzt sind wir bewusstlos. Scheiße. Oh Mann, ja, das geht gleich richtig los. Wir sind dafür verantwortlich, dass der Typ kein Bein mehr hat. Oh Mann, den müssen wir retten irgendwie. Das geht nicht scheiße. Okay, also hier, The Walking Dead. Hier geht's gleich wieder richtig zur Sache. Ach du Scheiße. Wir haben Jungen hier in der Bärenfalle gefangen. Das Bein abgehackt. Aber wir müssen ihn ja irgendwie retten. Wir hätten ihn noch einfach da drin lassen können, aber dann stirbt er. Und ja, lieber ein Bein weniger, aber dafür lebt er. 
Ja, hier sieht man schon, wir haben uns hier etwas eingerichtet in diesem Hotel vom letzten Teil, das wir entdeckt haben am Ende. Ein paar Barrikaden errichtet, damit wir hier wenigstens überleben können. Aber ja, die Nahrungsmittel sind knapp. Wir sind hier mehr oder weniger am runterhungern. Irgendwie müssen wir zur Nahrung kommen. Und jetzt sind wir noch mehr, na toll. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking? He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Naja, der, der wird schon ganz schön nett begrüßt hier. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey. I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Ach du Scheiße. Du hast nur vier Nahrungsgegenstände für zehn hungrige Leute. Und wir müssen uns jetzt entscheiden, wem wir hier Essen geben. Jeder in dieser Gruppe hat ja seine eigene Aufgabe, mehr oder weniger. Und wir müssen uns entscheiden, wer bei Kräften bleiben soll. Ach du heilige Scheiße. Reden wir mal mit ihr. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. So, yeah. 
schauen wir hier uns mal weiter um. Und ich weiß immer noch nicht, wem wir hier wirklich was zum Essen geben können. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Ah, oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Der ist schon so schwach. Kann ich mit Maddie Bretter gerade halten? Keeps the walkers halten? out. Curly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Mal mit allen reden und den Zustand befragen, würde ich sagen. Holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Ah, der ist also von der Air Force. Lily is pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Well, do the guns have a fresh clap at us, man? I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is. But you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Ja, der ist ziemlich angepisst, der alte Mann. Der kann eigentlich froh sein, denn wir haben ihm mehr oder weniger das Leben gerettet. Mal mit ihm trotzdem noch mal reden. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We got to start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't ja, ja. tell me what to do, Lee. Wir können die neuen natürlich auch nicht einfach wegschieben. Ich meine, jeder wäre froh, wenn er jemand findet, wo er Sicherheit wäre. Natürlich ist es eine schwierige Entscheidung, weil wir kaum was zu essen haben. Aber auf der anderen Seite, wir können die Menschen nicht einfach sterben lassen. Okay. Jeder würde gerne überleben wollen. I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Ja, wir haben hier... Kinder, den können natürlich auch was zum Essen geben. Mal mit Kali reden. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. 
I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Also sie kann es auch nicht wirklich helfen. Aber sie hat schon recht. Back in a bit. Wir sollten schauen und gut bedenken, wie wir das Essen hier geben. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. I How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. So, und so wurde vorhin gesagt, Kali hat die meisten äh, Wachen gehalten in letzter Zeit. Deswegen denke ich, ich entscheide mich in der ersten Ration dafür, Kali diese zu geben. Want something to eat? Einen halben Apfel, ein Stück Dörfleisch, Cracker und Käse. Ein Stück Dörfleisch. Hier. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. So. Ich würde sagen, jetzt unterhalten wir uns mal noch mit ihm, mit Kenny. Unserem Techniker. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Okay, also dann ich tatsächlich abhauen. In, dem letzten, in der letzten Episode haben wir erfahren, er besitzt ein Boot. Reden wir mal noch mit dem Kleinen. How you doing, Doug? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Das ist doch eine Katze. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Natürlich auch die Kleinen haben hier Hunger. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. Yeah, the kind of Clementine from his to be Eltern. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Oh, the kleine, kleines Kind hat natürlich auch Hunger. Ach, du heilige Scheiße. We 
should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. So, also, Fine. ich würde sagen, verteilen wir mal das Essen weiter. Und ich denke, ah, dem hier, wie er da liegt, können wir leider nichts geben. I need space, Lee. Sonst hätten wir eventuell dem noch was geben können, was er für den Verlust. But a snack will hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Ja, vielleicht hätten wir ihm es geben können, er hat ziemlich viel Blut verloren. Hat mir gedacht, aber das scheint wohl nicht zu sein. So, also wir haben vier Rationen, eine haben wir schon vergeben. Der hier hat ziemlich viel Kraft, auch wenn er ein Arschloch ist, aber ich denke, jemanden viel Kraft können wir brauchen. Hier, Larry. Der bekommt einen halben Apfel. Nee, oder Cracker und Käse. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Oh man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. So, noch dreimal was zu essen da. Vielleicht können wir ihm einen halben Apfel geben. Der ist natürlich auch noch ziemlich nützlich mit seinen Fähigkeiten, die er ja hat. Geben wir ihm auch was. Ich würde denken, ich würde sagen, ja hier einen halben Apfel. Das muss reichen. Wow, thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. So, die sind ziemlich wichtig, wenn die Zombies wirklich wieder kommen. So bleiben sie hier am Leben. Beziehungsweise können sie uns am meisten helfen. Sie möchte ja nichts und sie hier oben hält Wache. Deswegen werde ich wohl auch ihr etwas geben. So ein Stück Dörrfleisch. I don't want anything from you. Nimm ihn trotzdem. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Behalte die letzte Nahrung für dich. Oder gib dann die letzte Nahrung jemand anderem. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Ich würde sagen, wir geben es jemand anderem. Ja, sie hat gesagt, sie hat auch Hunger. Hm. Das ist die Frage. Kenny muss körperlich eh nicht so viel arbeiten. Er muss eigentlich nur das hier reparieren. Und wenn ein Kind zu mir sagt, es hat Hunger, dann würde ich sagen, wir geben mir auch was. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. Crack on Kenny's again. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Tut mir leid, Leute. Ich habe leider nichts mehr zum Essen. Not such an easy job, is it? Der hat Hunger, natürlich. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. So, me and my family don't matter to you anymore? It's not like that. Don't make me regret asking you to come along on the RV. 
Ja, die mögen das natürlich jetzt nicht mehr. Ken, Lee, komm her, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never yeah. going to survive. Well, at least he's not a problem anymore. What about the other kid? Ach du Scheiße! Ach du Scheiße! Ja, ich glaub's nicht! Boah, Scheiße! Ach, links, rechts! Boah, krass! Da, 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 komm, komm, komm. Hau ab, Mann. Weg hier. Und nochmal. Und jetzt. Nein. Er hat uns erwischt. Wir sind tot. Scheiße. Nochmal. Und ab in die Fresse. Nichts wie weg. Und nochmal. Nichts wie weg. Zurück, zurück. Und nochmal. So. Nochmal. Jetzt hau schon zu. Hau schon zu, Mann. Warum steckst du mit der Axt hier fest? Nein, 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 nein. Du kriegst mich nicht. Du kriegst mich nicht. Ach du Scheiße. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Den, den wir gerettet haben oder retten wollten, der hat uns jetzt töten. Was? Und du hast nicht ein goddamn Wort. Aber er war nicht bitten, ich schwöre. Der mit dem Bein. Dein bitten Freund hier kam zurück zu Leben und hat versucht, mich zu töten. Was? Wait, ihr alle nicht wissen? Was zum Teufel sprichst du darüber? Es ist nicht der Bein, der es macht. Du kommst zurück, egal wie du sterbst. Wenn du die Hirn nicht zerstörst, das ist nur das, was passiert. It's gonna happen to all of us. You're lying. It's true. Das kann nicht sein. I swear it. Das kann nicht sein. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Das kann nicht sein. Jesus Nein. Christ. If you just die, and that's all it takes. And shit. One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. That's very natürlich eine gute Sache. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Okay, we're going to go to the Schauen wir uns das mal an. bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. 
see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's all There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, a lot more. Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Oh yeah, die töten sie sich selber. Ist schwer genug, dass wir die Zombies kämpfen müssen. Nein, die Menschen selber töten sich natürlich hier auch noch. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Wow, here next to us. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Das schaut fabelhaft aus hier. Hier, glaube ich, kann man besser überleben als in unserem Hotel. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. 
Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this wow. morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe, but is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Yeah, that's macht hier einen richtig super schönen Eindruck, aber die Leute sind meiner Meinung nach so verbissen darauf, dass wir ja, alle am besten hierher kommen, das muss doch irgendwo einen Haken haben. Ich kann mir nicht vorstellen, dass es das wirklich alles so ist, wie es scheint. Das wäre einfach zu schön, um wahr zu sein, auch wenn die Idylle hier schon richtig schön ausschaut. Aber ich würde sagen, wir müssen uns hier wirklich mal umschauen und alles erstmal auschecken, bevor wir hier noch mehr Leute herholen. Ja, ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen und wie es weitergeht. Und ob der Platz hier wirklich sicher ist oder uns für die Zukunft ein schönes Zuhause geben kann. Das erfahrt ihr dann in der nächsten Folge, wenn es wieder heißt, Let's Play The Walking Dead. Stay tuned, have fun. Hier für euch war euer Muscle Tag. Bis zum nächsten Mal.